this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, Y'all know I got to go in. I know some people are literally waiting for me to talk about this situation, you know, especially when it comes to Errol Spence. But I'm going to say this right now, you know, um, we got to be happy for the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the division will no longer be held up. You know, whoever leaves out that ring that night in March, they will leave with three titles. So then there will be only one more fight to be undisputed. We got to clap our hands for that, for the welterweight division. Yes, sir. Got to clap our hands for that. No more waiting. Even though it's going to be next year, we're going to have to wait three months, you know. But, it, hey, at least we got something lined up. Uh, I, you know, I know I have to be real. I have to give my opinion on things. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for one, I'm very happy that this fight is happening. Now we get the belts lined up, three belts. One person walks out with three belts. Uh, whether it be Errol Spence or whether it be Jordan Jugas, we don't know. All we can do is have an our opinion, and I'm going to give you my opinion on that as well. But uh, is this the fight that we all wanted to see at welterweight? Is this the major fight? No. I think we all be lying if we say that this was the fight that we all wanted to see. All right? But Jugas is a hell of a fighter. You know, Jugas went out there and beat Manny Pacquiao. You got to give him a lot of credit for that. Keith Thurman didn't beat Manny Pacquiao, so... Um, people have to give Jardinus Jugas his credit for what he went out there and did against Manny Pacquiao. Retired Manny Pacquiao. Um, going against uh, Errol Spence Jr., one thing I can't agree with him, this pound-for-pound pound talk with Errol Spence Jr., I don't know where it's coming from. Um, like I asked a question, you know what I'm saying, on a video a day or two ago was Jamel Charlo under Errol Spence for pound-for-pound, for pound, and people actually said that even Jamel Charlo was on the Errol Spence Jr. on the pound for pound list. So that shows me a little bit of bias shit. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that Errol don't deserve to be on there, but if he is on there, he shouldn't be above Jamel Charlo. But uh, Errol Spence, you know, coming off of the Tash Retina, you know, um, had to cancel the Manny Pacquiao fight, which is why Yardinus Jugas got his chance to go out there and blow up off the fight. Uh, Yardinus Jugas going through things with the WBA, you know, I'm not too familiar with the background of uh, what going what went on, but, you know, um, from what I understand, they stopped it. They didn't want Errol and Jugas to fight, but now they're letting it go through, so now we have the fight coming in March. Now, a little bit about Yardinus Jugas, you know, Yardinus Jugas beat the guy, if I ain't mistaken, that beat Terrence Crawford and the amateurs, uh, Randall, yeah, Southpaw. He fought um, Kavalaskis. I can't think of his name, but his, like, his name is Rondo something, but he fought Kavalaskis. He beat, uh, Rondo beat Terrence Crawford in the amateurs. So and even though that's just in the amateurs, you know, you can't use the triangle effect. I'm just letting you know that Yuga's been around and Yuga's have beat uh, a lot of fighters out there. Uh, he beat Brandon Figueroa, if I ain't mistaken, in the amateurs. Uh, Errol Spence, you know, hell of an, uh, a fighter strong fighter great jab creates great distance you know i see him you know sometimes it's one dimensional uh lot not a lot of head movement this is gonna be a good fight though uh one thing i like about this fight is uh both of these fighters are aggressive both of these fighters come forward arrow comes forward with his body attack uh creates distance with that jab Yugis has a body attack. Uh, uses Yugis, in my opinion, at times hesitates, which I don't like. I think he would be a better fighter if he did more, if he came forward more and created more offense. Hopefully, that's what he does in this fight. Um, but right now, I really can't say who will win that fight. I have to watch some tape. I have to look at some videos to, you know, come out with an answer and say, like, you know, who would actually win that fight. But it's a good fight. You know what I'm saying? At, at least the belts are lining up. We're getting close to the undisputed at the welterweight division, so got to be happy for that. But like I said, even though it's not the fight that we really wanted to see, we still getting what we want a little bit. We're getting two prime, you know, uh, welterweights out there in the game with big names, and we're getting a, a chance to see somebody walk out that ring with three belts, which brings us close to the undisputed. Y'all hit that like button if you're watching. Please hit that like button. I'm not going to be on that long. I'm not going to be on long, y'all. Probably 10 minutes at the most. But uh, 
can't argue with it. I'm happy for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, at the end of the day, somebody walk out with those belts. We all get to see, you know, we get a chance to get close to undisputed. I will talk about this and the fact of this. Uh, Errol Spence, you know, I didn't think that he was going to fight Yugis due to the fact that he ducked Yugis uh, when he fought Ocampo. But it's good that he's going out there now. He's taking a risk. But also, let's not forget, because people screaming unification uh, i see a lot of errol spence fans on Facebook. people are mad at errol spence because errol spence wanted a unification um bud is a unification fight too or did y'all forget that bud has a title too or did y'all forget that so why y'all keep saying that terrence crawford fans or the public is mad because Errol Spence Jr. is going to a unification fight. Bud is a unification fight, too. So what? Uh, easy route Spence is taking another easy... How how many easy routes is Errol Spence going to take for y'all to realize that he don't want to fight this boy? How many times somebody got to logically break this shit down to y'all to cl clearly let y'all understand that he don't want to fight Terrence? Terrence is a unification fight, too. Terrence got a belt too. Y'all understand that, right? Oh, let me go to Sean Porter route. I could knock him out easily. I could take his title. Easy route. Now he's going over there going to fight Yugas, which I like to fight. Can't complain about the fight. We get the three titles on the line. Somebody lead with them titles, whether it's Spence or Yugas. That's great. But let's not forget the fact that this boy is ducking Terrence Crawford and don't nobody want to admit. How many times? If Errol, if Terrence doing what Errol was doing, verbatimly doing on walking in the shoes of Errol Spence, if Terrence was doing that shit, y'all be saying Terrence Crawford is ducking that damn fight. I don't know what power Errol Spence holds, why people want to be in the now. Or why you want to act like they don't see the truth? And it ain't error. It's not error. There's no hate from... I don't get no paychecks or nothing like this. It just pisses me off when people act like they don't really see the truth of what's going on. When y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on. Easy route Spence. And for the fans of Arrow Spence, I know y'all happy he's not fighting Bud. But don't count your Dennis Yugas out. Don't don't count your Dennis Yugas out. He a big welterweight too. He ain't a little welterweight. He's not a former 140 pounder, and he's not coming in there to lose. He's not. Not saying that he will be Arrow. I think that he has enough to be Arrow. Let me read some of y'all uh, comments before I get off. Spence winning this because I feel like you just can't keep up with Spence and his high work rate. I can kind of, I can agree with that. Like I said, um, Yugas is not that offensive. Yugas hesitates a lot. And if Errol comes forward and don't care, I don't know what... I think Yugas will come with him, though. But I know that Yugas is hesitant. And you can't really be like that against Errol. You know, he likes to he likes to let his opponents create the off the openness for him and then he'll attack. I think he needs to attack and then create the openings as he's attacking. But I don't see him doing that. What's up, D Lo? Thank you. Ray Robinson. Uh what's up, Sir Isaac? Yo, what's good, bro? Never caught you live before. Yeah, I know a lot of people been saying that, you know what I'm saying? YouTube got a problem with me. For some reason, they don't let my notifications go up, but I am finna make another channel as soon as I uh, step in this house right quick. As soon as I step in this house, I'm creating another channel because uh, I'm tired of this, you know what I'm saying? I should be up there with the big channels and, or he's at least close to now, but due to the fact that my videos are going on the entertainment and they playing with me, I got to make a new channel. Let me see. Uh, who cares? We want a Bud versus Sprint. <laughs> he begged Al the WBA to help him out. He thought this was over with, but he found a way to duck my dude again. Yes, sir. I agree with that. No hate towards Errol Spence, but I, I, there's nothing but ducking. Uh, can you expect? 
can you accept me saying Spence stops you is in the ninth round? I could see that. It could possibly happen. Like I said, I'm not a Spence hater. Spence is a good fighter. Uh, I can't say who's going to win this fight right now. I have to look at some tape and watch some things before I could come out with my opinion of it. Errol can hurt you because he's bigger puncher than Ramos, who hurt you. Yes, he did. I agree with that, sir, Isaac. Uh, he did get hurt by that guy, uh, that Ramos. So, yeah. And I think Ramos was a southpaw too, wasn't it? Spence is saving the best for last. Simple and plain. Oh, my God. I like that. That's a good one. This man built you. Um, the fight to make, obviously. Um, we can't say that that's easy uh, right now if Crawford is no longer with uh, Bob Arum. We can't say that no more. He's longer with Bob Arum. He's been holding back. That's what the Spence fans been saying for damn near three years. Two years now that Bob Arum is the problem. That's no longer an issue. So why are you going to talk to Tanks instead of going fuck with you? But it's, it's the easy route. It's the easy route, right? The easy route. Spence and Crawford is the biggest fight. That's why he's fighting Yugis first. Okay, Crawford probably going to fight Thurman or Josh Taylor. I mean, he can't fight Spence now. Spence wants his last fight at 147, the biggest, figure, biggest fight, bro. He already said that. Oh, all right. when he said that, when he said that, now, now that's what he said. Come on, JDL. That's what he said now. You mean to tell me he, he um, Cleo, he knew in the future that he was going to get Porter first and he was going to get Yugas next and then he was going to get Crawford. He knew it was going to go like that. That's the way he wanted it to go. And ain't no guarantee we still going to get the Crawford fight. Come on, man. No hating on the man. Y'all know he don't want to fight that boy. He going around, he fighting Michael Garcia's and shit. He going all, he even trying to go at Canelo and shit. They happy, he fighting you. Cause I, I know damn well they happy. The negotiation is the only thing holding up the fight. I hope the fight going to happen so we can get, get, just get these three titles in line. So Tam, whoever get them, Tam's go take them. That, that's all I'm waiting on. Whoever get these three titles, Terrence, please, if they give you 70 30, take it and go out there and take them motherfucking titles from the ass. If they give you 70 30, take it, Terrence. That's all we need is them three belts on one dude. It don't matter if it's Spence or Yugas. It don't matter. No, I'm, I'm, I'm far out. I'm far out. And it, the serve is kind of bad out here. I'm sorry about that. Thurman and Taylor both lined up the first quarter. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going have to have to, have to happen. Not Thurman and Taylor, no. No, not Thurman and Taylor. Um, probably, Tam's going to probably have to fight Virgil Ortiz or Josh Taylor or some Boots or somebody because the Spence fight ain't finna happen now. So... But you know, it's time for me to get off, y'all. I just got on. I just wanted to put my comments, my two cents on it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Yuga. Shout out to Errol Spence for giving us a hell of a fight in the future of 2022. Uh, like I said, I wanted to see Terrence versus uh, Errol Spence, but we still getting a hell of a fight. You know what I'm saying? Can't complain about it. At the end of the day, one man walks out with those three belts, and we are getting closer to undisputed. Undisputed. And, you know, that's most importantly what's going on. There's no more holding up the welterweight division. It's going down, y'all. It's easy work boxing. Thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. Please hit that like button. Go to Cash App. Go to PayPal. Show your boy some love. This easy work boxing. I'm out.